So I thought I would go over here to apple.com and just look at the best way to spend $1,200 here. I don't know why, but I heard that a bunch of people had $1,200 to spend, so I thought they might be interested in spending it here on apple.com. Okay, I'm not really recommending that you go ahead and spend all of your stimulus money on Apple products, but I thought this would be a fun exercise just to see what you could get for $1,200. I think a lot of people think that Apple's so expensive that you can't really get anything for that much money. The truth is that Apple's really come out with some great deals in the last couple years, and $1,200 can actually get you quite a bit if you buy right. Of course, you can also easily, easily spend $1,200. A million different ways but here we're going to say if you were new trying to get into the Apple ecosystem how could you spend $1,200 and of course the first place we're going to start is right here with this new iPhone SE so we got the iPhone SE here let's go ahead and say buy the iPhone SE is such a great deal at 399 coming in with the same chip as the iPhone 11 it really is just an incredible deal now of course we're going to assume that we don't have a trade-in right now we'd say we're a new person coming in so we don't have a trade-in and we would go with product red because that's the best looking of these ones. And we would upgrade the storage for sure. Instead of going for 64 gigabytes, we'd go for 128. That's double for just $50 more. I think it's a no-brainer at this point to go with that. I've made the mistake many times of buying too little storage, so I would not recommend that. We've got $1,200 to spend. Let's make sure we get it right. Go SIM free, activate with any carrier. And then I'm not going to put Apple coverage on here. That's not how I would spend the 1200 bucks, but I tend to be quite careful with my electronic devices. And so we'll, here we are, 449 one-time payment. I don't recommend financing anything. And then go and click add to bag. The next thing that I would recommend going for with the remainder of our 1200 bucks is to jump over here to iPad. There are lots of different types of iPads. I just recently did a video about why the iPad is not a laptop replacement, but is something better. So I do highly recommend the iPad as a main computing device. Apple really has a great deal here. Of course, the iPad Pro, you could easily spend your entire 1200 bucks on an iPad Pro. And that would be amazing, but it's not the best way. If we click here on iPad, we're actually going to find the base model iPad, which is incredible. It can now support the keyboard and the Apple Pencil, and it's just a very efficient machine for most things that most people need to do. The model before this iPad is actually the iPad that I use for everything, so that's what you see in most of my videos, You're doing affinity programs. So uh, you can do real creative work even on this iPad, and it's really quite a deal. So let's go ahead and click buy here. I would go with Space Gray, that's more my style, and definitely upgrade the storage on this. It is $100 more, but you're coming in at $429 here for our main computing device, which is awesome. Go ahead and click Continue. You could add an engraving here, but I'm just going to click Add to Bag because I'm not actually purchasing this. I already own plenty of Apple devices. All right, and then we're going to come right here and we're going to get the Apple Pencil. The Apple Pencil, I really think, makes the iPad so much better, especially if you want to do any kind of work on it, not just like browse the web or watch movies, but do work. The Apple Pencil is really, really helpful. So we're going to click Add to Bag. We've got that. Now let's click Review Bag here to see where we're at price-wise. Okay, so we are not quite at $1,200 yet. We are still about $150 short, even with tax. So there's two ways that we could go about spending this $150. The first one would be for our iPad. So if we click back here, this smart keyboard is $159. It is going to push us a little bit over the price of $1,200, but we will be pretty close. So the smart keyboard for the iPad that we just put in our bag, that would be a great addition if we were going to be doing a lot of typing on it that could be really helpful now another option is to actually go ahead and get the airpods this the base model airpods for our for our iphone and our ipad it works really great between both of them and so we can come here and that's the same 159 i'd probably in this case go with the airpods there are a lot of other options for either bluetooth headphones or for keyboards so it really doesn't matter which one you go with here but let's just put this in our bag just to see where we get to here. To bag. Okay, and now our bag is at $1,218.36. So we have gone over by just less than 20 bucks. So I'd say that's pretty good. So that's how I would recommend going ahead and spending $1,200 on apple.com. 
if you need to. Again, you should obviously use the money that you have to make the best decisions for your life, but this is a great package for 1200 bucks from Apple. A lot of good products here. And of course, there are ways to save even more money by looking for deals going with Apple's refurbished website. You can often find things cheaper there. Of course, you won't be able to find the iPhone SE there because it's so new, but other things you can get there. And if you are a student or an educator shopping through the education store, we'll get you a discount for sure on the iPad and the pencil. The iPad comes in $30, I think, cheaper, and the Apple Pencil comes in $10 cheaper on there. And so that would bring us, you know, into the $1,200 range if we were able to have the education discount there. So I hope you've enjoyed this little bit different video here, just looking at what we could get from apple.com for 1200 bucks. So go ahead and in the comments, leave your recommendation for spending $1,200 on apple.com. And if you have enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.